Hi, welcome to another Nigel's Funny Rhyme. I'd like to read you one of my poems, which was actually inspired by some of those dreadful TV adverts you get on television after Christmas, which entice you to buy a, a model Titanic or a model Windsor Castle in 500 weekly parts at an absolute fortune, and when you've built it, you've nowhere to put it. So anyway, that was the inspiration for this particular poem, which I've called Bonehead. Christmas came and Christmas went, the turkey's gone, the money's spent. I'd eaten all the chocolate treats, the televisions all repeats. When suddenly they show an ad. I jumped for joy and told my dad. A magazine with bits to build, a T-Rex. I was really thrilled. A hundred parts at ten quid each, said dad. The cost is out of reach. But dad, I said, it's four feet high. They've only two, was dad's reply. Eventually, Dad gave permission, and so I bought the first edition. A bony foot, a plastic base. I'd wait two years to see its face. Each week I bought another bit and made sure all the pieces fit. A knee, a hip, an arm, a claw. Two hundred bones, or maybe more. Its swishy tail was fixed on tight. My T-Rex was an awesome sight. It looked superb, I couldn't fib. I'd reach the chest. Not one spare rib. Month by month my T-Rex grew. My manual said the skull was due. My skeleton had reached its shoulder. I was nearly two years older. The final part was well in sight. The skull, the jaw, that deadly bite. My T-Rex soon would be complete. I couldn't wait for us to meet. Then one day Dad, in pure disgust, said, Son, your magazine's gone bust. They'd gone extinct, ironically. I cried all night, how could this be? My T-Rex wouldn't get its head. I'd lost a thousand quid instead. The skeleton I couldn't save. My T-Rex found an early grave. The hole I dug, <laughs> well who'd have guessed, was where our dog was laid to rest. I hadn't noticed in my haste the very spot our pet was placed. I really should regret my crime, but knew in several centuries' time, they'll dig around this sacred ground, and ancient fossils would be found. The excavators won't decide just what it was that could have died. They'll take the bones to some museum, where everyone can go and see them. And on display, a carnivore that no one's ever seen before. A sign below it, on the floor, says, Labradoodle Dinosaur. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you next time. Bye.